Now in this video we're going to use loops to do exactly the same thing as we just did but to make it a lot more efficient. You'll notice I've brought the counter variable back there and I've set it to zero and that on line 9 here I've only set items position 0 to empty. I've got rid of all the other lines to set position 1, 2, 3, 4 to empty as because I'm going to use a loop here to do the same task. So while counter is less than 5 here items position counter equals empty and inside the loop still counter equals counter plus one not and plus so what that does is it goes through position goes starts at items position zero and sets it to empty then at item position one sets it to empty then items position two sets it to empty and so on and so on and so on so because I've used a loop to do that section, I can use loops further down to do the rest. So what I'm going to do is get rid of these lines here, and I'm going to do use a loop to repeat my please type in your item. So while counter is less than 5, and end while at the bottom, there we go. However, then I need to type in, please type in, item number end the speech marks put an ampersand in there to join it and put the counter variable so that'll say please type in item number zero um, items counter equals console.readline and then finally the last thing I need to do is add one to counter in the loop so counter equals counter plus one again um, like so and your challenge now is to try and put a loop in for the console.write line to get it to print all of those items in the array out at once in one big chunk using a loop instead of print instead of writing individual lines like we started to do here. Once you've done that, that's the final video in the tutorials. So take your screenshots and add them to the workbook document and then move on to the challenge tasks.